The PlayStation Vita, one of, if not my favorite handheld console of all time. I feel like the last year or so, the modifications on this one handheld I just went insane. I feel like the community is so active and they're just trying to improve and improve the system so much that it's turning into a beast and it's only getting better in 2023. Let me show you 10 ways on why I think you need a PlayStation Vita in 2023. So the first thing is actually a fix to something that made the Vita actually not sell as well as it should have, and that is the storage. As you know, the old memory cards go for a ton of money, but there's a solution. You can get an SD to Vita in 2023 and combo it with your favorite micro SD. I have a 256 gigabyte micro SD, and simple as that. You put it in the adapter, put it in your system. As long as you have a modest system, it will work. Going into my settings, I'm going to my system settings. Just go ahead and show you how much storage I have on my system. And you see the capacity is 238 gigabytes i still have 20 gigabytes on my system and i have i don't even know over 100 psp games 50 vita games a ton of games on this system that you will see and yeah this is just a great way to have a ton of storage on your vita the second reason is the notorious pkgj this is a modification that if you get on your system you could essentially download any playstation vita game for free yes for free as you see this is a list of literally every playstation and vita game in existence from any language region doesn't matter you could press triangle to load up this filter menu and you could search it by region name size date you know region it, it, really anything and you can find any game that you're looking for and bang you can go ahead and download it to your system by simply selecting it and pressing install game this is an awesome feature because there's so many great vita games out there i'm gonna go ahead and show a few of mine i have on my system and right now the playstation vita game market is very expensive like even common games are going for 30 40 50 dollars a piece so this is a great way to go ahead and try these games because why pay the resellers i'm more of a person that will pay retail but i'm not paying resale so this is the great way to go ahead and play all your playstation vita games the third reason is probably my favorite reason to be honest is the adrenaline modification once you have this mod on your system your playstation vita essentially turns into a sony psp which is obviously sweet you have the same home front as a playstation portable now, obviously with this ability you can play any psp game you like i have over a hundred psp games on my system there's just so many great games to choose from i'm gonna go ahead and show you a handful of the ones i have on my system if you need some ideas but obviously all these games run perfectly and i'm gonna go ahead and show you some gameplay just to show you what it looks like and as you see it looks great and the really cool thing about some of these playstation portable games on the vita is you can actually use the analog stick for your gameplay this game specifically you do have to use the d-pad but there's a lot of psp games that you're actually able to use the left analog stick to move around and the fourth reason which has to do with adrenaline as well is the ability to play any ps1 game that you like it's simply just like the psp games as long as you have the backups on your playstation vita uploaded they will pop up in adrenaline and you can go ahead and enjoy all of these these are a handful of my ps1 games that i have on my system i have a lot of horror uh, platformers a little bit of everything on my Vita I only have about 25 games on my system because there's not too many ps1 games I want to play but there's definitely some great ones and as you see hopping into some gameplay it looks amazing the colors look great but what you actually could do is hold the PlayStation button go ahead and go to your settings go to the official settings and once you hop into there you can go to the resolution which is in other settings go to screen mode and put it on full screen so your ps1 games are on full screen at all times and bang you're playing a portable ps1 game full screen with these beautiful colors and the cool thing is you're actually able to use the analog stick with a lot of these games as well and the fifth reason is the adrenaline bubbles manager this kind of coincides with adrenaline and using adrenaline so of course you have to use adrenaline you have to click into the modification and load into it and it just takes some time but if you have this bubble themes manager you can go ahead and download the games from adrenaline and put it on your home screen as a bubble you simply put the title of the bubble that you like and download it straight to your system and bang you have a bunch of bubbles of your ps1 psp games etc and you can simply click it from your home menu and hop straight into the game without having to actually load into adrenaline the sixth reason is the vita db downloader which essentially is the vita homebrew browser if you want to think about it like that as you see there's a bunch of different homebrew people upload their own games that they made especially for the vita there's emulators there's ports there's a little bit of everything as you see that's a game boy emulator as you see right here this is a super monkey ball port 
port. And this is just a bunch of little mini games that you can enjoy on here. Like I mentioned that people created ports, etc. And you can simply just click on the game and press install and it'll simply download to your PlayStation Vita and bang, you can enjoy some of these homebrews. Some homebrews do require some files that you need on your Vita. So of course you have to look into that. Some cool homebrew that I would like to mention is this Wolfenstein game. It's honestly a sweet port. Next is Super Mario Boom, which is a little Mario mini game that somebody made on the Vita and it's honestly pretty fun. And the last one I'm gonna mention is the Game Boy emulator, which we will be talking about more later in this video. The seventh reason is the ports. As I mentioned earlier, there's a ton of different ports that you can put on your system. As you see, I have GTA San Andreas, Max Payne, Vice City, GTA 3, GTA Chinatown Wards, and even Bully. A lot of these are PS2 ports. Some of them are the Android versions of these PS2 ports. But as you see, I'm loading into Max Payne and it honestly looks very good. It feels very good. As you see, I'm playing gameplay live and no issues, no stuttering, no audio issues. Everything is great. And it's cool to see these games on the Vita. Next, we're going to hop into San Andreas. And of course, you load into it with these iconic loading screens. And as you see, you're hopping straight into Los Santos and bang, you're in Los Santos as CJ. And yeah, the game looks great. I believe this is the Android version as well of San Andreas. But nevertheless, it's cool to have on your Vita. The seventh reason is all the cool emulators that is on the PlayStation Vita. And keep in mind, this is going to be a long one because we have four great emulators. We have the Nintendo 64 emulator, the Game Boy Advance, the Super Nintendo, and even a Dreamcast emulator. We're going to go ahead and hop into the N64 one first. And as you see, this is my list of N64 backups that I have on my system. And as you see, we have everything from Banjo-Kazooie, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Donkey Kong, Zelda's, Pokemon's, Super Mario 64, Smash Bros, etc. All on this one system. And there's actually a website that tells you which games are playable on the Vita because some games are not playable. They have stuttering issues or audio issues. I will make sure to have that on the screen. But as you see, Donkey Kong 64 looks great and plays great on the Vita. Next is the Game Boy Advance emulator, which is a pretty simple and easy one to have. Of course, you need the backups of your games. I only have one, which is Pokemon Fire Red version but once you load into it it pretty much loads in instantly and i've actually played this game in the past so it actually loaded my last save state where i was at and bang you're right into pokemon fire red and like i said you can do this with pretty much any game boy advance game and they all run very good next which is one of my favorite is the super nintendo emulator this one doesn't have a very cool home screen but nonetheless it works very well as you see this is the list of my backups i have like super mario worlds donkey kongs etc let's go ahead and hop into super mario world and this is in live time and as you see only about three four seconds and you're right into the game the emulator runs very great and like the game boy advance one super nintendo is very easily emulated so you're not gonna have any issues playing this on your vita and yeah you can go and enjoy all these super nintendo classics next we have the dreamcast emulator which this one is still a work in progress it doesn't work 100 percent but there are some titles that do work i have a list of some titles that do work we're gonna go and hop into marvel versus capcom 2 which is honestly one of my favorite dreamcast games so i'm glad this is a game that works on the vita and as you see it looks beautiful it feels beautiful on the bottom left you do have the frames which as you see is at 51 frames but it should be at 60 frames so like i said it is a work in progress but this is definitely a neat emulator to have on the vita and the eighth reason is another modification which is auto plug-in 2 this is a not super fun mod but it's definitely one that's important this allows you to download plugins to allow your vita to do things that it normally wouldn't do and it's a very simple modification you can simply just download these plugins to your system they all have descriptions of exactly what they do on the bottom so if you want to read through those and have certain abilities on your Vita you can go ahead and do that a cool one that I really enjoy is this DS4 one which DS4 one as you see on the description says control your Vita with a DualShock 4 so you can actually play your PlayStation Vita with a PS4 controller which is a sweet little plugin and if you want to uninstall these plugins you can simply just go to uninstall plugin and take it right off your system without a hassle tenth and final reason is the custom themes manager this allows allows you to have custom themes from the internet that without having this modification you wouldn't be able to do otherwise and people upload and make these themes and upload it to this modification and you can simply download it straight to your system and I'm gonna show you exactly how you could do that as you see you can go ahead and scan through and just give a good look of all the themes that you could choose from and go ahead and pick and choose what you would like to have on your Vita and you can actually press start to go ahead and search up a keyword if you're looking for a theme in specific as you see I just looked at the word Kirby and there's a couple Kirby themes that popped up you simply click on it and on the 
the bottom, it'll have instructions on what to do to actually install this. And it's very, very simple. We're going to go ahead and press R1 or L1 to go ahead and see a preview of the theme. And it loads up pretty instantly. And that's what it would look like on your Vita. And on the bottom, it does say to press cross, which is X, to go ahead and install this to your system. And bang, the custom theme is installed. All you have to do is go back to the main menu of the mod, go to apply themes. It's going to put you to the settings and bang, the theme is right there. You simply select it and bang, you have a new theme on your Vita. And this is a really neat one. You don't have to do no hassle or anything like that. You simply have this mod and bang, you can have any custom theme that you like. And it's honestly a pretty neat one. And those are my 10 reasons why you need a PS Vita in 2023. And don't get it twisted, I could probably make a video saying 30 reasons why you need a PS Vita, but I went ahead and showed you the most notable things in my opinion that I think make the PlayStation Vita great and better than ever in 2023. But let me know in the comments, are you thinking about grabbing one soon? If you haven't got one already, I definitely recommend you do. And if you already have one, what are some modifications that you think I should have noted in this video that are pretty important? Don't be afraid to share in the comments what I didn't mention because other people could read the comments and continue to learn about the PlayStation Vita and really decide if they should cop one in 2023 and like I said I'm not gonna say it enough get one just I promise you you won't regret it I honestly like it more than the uh Nintendo Switch. But we're not going to talk about that. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. I got more videos coming, so make sure y'all stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff, and I'll see y'all next time.